everyone welcome to the update of 14th august retrospection continues to kill indian retail investors today a 20 year old case came to a closure where supreme court said yes the mining companies need to pay the state governments and what would have been a 1000 crore kind of levy per month since 20 years has accumulated to nearly 2 lakh crores which is a one time payout now to be given by certain companies to respective state governments this move literally killed the mining sector completely today a lot of steel companies hindustan copper coal india everyone involved in mining of resources was literally butchered today 4 5 percent down now this was supposed to be a pass through cost to the customers whatever is paid to the state government should have been added to the cost of mining and the customer should have been charged accordingly now after 20 years how will you recover this cost from the customer now for months everyone has known what msci is up to what will be done reject done in august this was officially announced today sebi should i think ask msci that they should officially release the list before it is known to half the world because the other half literally loses out on making money and many times loses a lot of money because they have no idea what is happening what msci is what that reject means lot of small retail have absolute no clue why oil india for example was going up why Oracle Financial was going up off late. Similarly, Pandan Bank was excluded. HDFC Bank crashed yesterday because MSCI said that the weight that they had proposed to increase will be increased in two tranches. So in some ways, this is a major fund inflow, but it is unofficially known to a lot of people. There is a lot of speculation because it is not confirmed which stocks will be included till the final date, which was today. Now note that this inclusion is effective 23rd August and it will be effected on the last date of the month, which is a working day. So by then, to my understanding, Bandhan will have to be excluded, but it is not mandatory for everyone to recalibrate and include all these stocks. These are now available and this fund flow will eventually come in. A lot of that may have already happened by now. In terms of distribution, the heat map looks a lot better today. The greens are approximately till here and then approximately 50-50 are the reds. All the companies here, for example, Coal India, JSW Steel, Tata Steel, all these are victims of the announcement which came in today, the retrospective ruling. Here is Metals and Mining, third worst performer. Software and IT actually saw some buying today. It was used to stem the flow of blood. This is the favorite sector along with banking for FIIs to short and my guess is DIs did a lot of buying here. Looking at the distance from 52 week high, this was definitely not value buying. Machinery and equipment, mainly ABB was up a lot and then there were a lot of falls here. Not very sharp though. HDFC up 0.3% only but that held the index together in some ways. At the same time, ICICA was cracking. SBI was up a little 0.7%. Expiries were highly volatile today all over the place. Literally, there was no trend coming out what nifty was up to and since software was up a lot there was not too much of correlation between bank nifty and nifty for most days the range for bank nifty as well as nifty was pretty narrow 24 120 24 190 70 point range now an important news this is a developing story karnataka government has said everyone should close the accounts in sbi and pnb but if this is affected then it will mean a big problem for sbi and pnb because a lot of IT companies, their employees are there in Karnataka. This, if in effect, then may benefit some of the banks like Karnataka Bank, which are private banks from Karnataka. Two funny news, Ola Electric, just after the IPO, posted 347 crore loss. Now you can relate to what I was saying in yesterday's video. Just few days after the IPO, results are there, 347 crores. Investors can sell. On the other side, Ola Electric first cry, they made merchant banks rich by 241 crores. I'm telling you, retail does not have any value in this country. The greed index went up today 55%. I think a lot of call options are getting bought heavily in the FNO market. I don't see the gains too much to increase the greed in the cash market. All these stocks were up significantly, but Nifty was not up. Nifty was literally at zero. No major cuts today. However, IT was up a lot. TCS 2.29%, Infosys 1.3%. Bank Nifty, however, cracked a bit 0.1% down. IT was up a lot. FIs continued to sell 30,000 crore is the net sell figure for this month now. Just half month gone. TIs continue to buy. They have bought more than what FI have sold. 31,000 crores. Nifty energy corrected a bit. Next 50 negligible. Defense corrected a little. 0.1%. Nasdaq was all green yesterday. Gold continues to be above 70,000. Silver up as well. GDR is looking good. Bitcoin up. Crude down. Reliance was totally undecided. It was a mountain actually. TCS went up, stayed up. HDFC choppy. SBI choppy. ICICI up. Infosys up. 
एल एन टी टाउन एच यू एल माउंटेन आई टी सी माउंटेन देर वॉज नो सिंगल पैटर्न इन बैंक टूडे एस बी आई फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉज अ माउंटेन कोटक महिंद्रा इन सम वेज एक्सिस बैंक चौपी पी एन बी चौपी बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा कंटिन्यूस टाउन इंडस एंड टाउन बट देन वेंट अप वॉल्यूम्स वर गुड दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड ऑन एक्सपायरी डे एच एल गेव गुड रिजल्ट this is the spike perhaps for the result this is the spike for musgaon docs result i think and we'll discuss them in the nugget section today most of the metal stocks opened down or cracked as soon as the supreme court ruling came in this was i think the time when the ruling came everything literally cracked because the amount in question is enormous so all my good analysis yesterday my dream of making some fortune or some money at least in hindustan copper because of all the gains from yesterday they went away today in this 5% fall railway stocks no respite everything down bml was singled out today 5.3% down software all green that too on fantastic volumes adani energy was up 4% sg even another 4% chennai petro was on fire 8% this is probably one stock along with oil and ongc which has been going up in the oil pack significantly has been close to month of rally for these three stocks but today ongc and oil india corrected consumption pack cracked significantly down for most stocks volumes however were not high this is indicative of low demand some people want to exit but there are not much of buyers available the good thing is that the top stocks itc and hul they are not far off from 52 week just 3% each a stone's throw from 52 week high slightly better day 13 sectors up compared to 5 yesterday automobile the big companies were up little varun beverages gave up all the gains from yesterday 1.8% down asian paints did not go anywhere pedelite down coal india because of the news cracked 3.3% this will go down further because coal india has run up a lot so there is a lot of money on the table for investors lnt did not go anywhere but rbnl cracked this is despite rbnl getting included in the msci index ultra tech 2 and a half percent down that's a largest cement company adani enterprises down in today's market also trend was up 1% it is at a 52 week high lifetime high actually home building continues to bleed insurance still not too much buying interest the volumes also are low same with investment banking today heavy machinery was up and up a lot siemens up 1% abb has fallen a lot it was up 3% devis lab was punished heavily 4% down but whatever may happen in pharma sun pharma and devis lab are always close to their 52 week highs same mostly with cipla real estate was a mix bag dlf up macrotech down godrej down prestige up because of the news of inclusion in the msci index Inox Wind was up 10% yesterday. Today 6%. But Suzlon corrected 5%. That's a lower circuit. Gold stocks have been recovering. Kalyan Jewelers 2% up today also. Titan up half percent. Transport infrastructure stocks continued to crack. Adani Ports down 1.5%. Nifty 50 27 stocks down 23 up. TCS Infosys at CL Bharti State Bank HDFC. They were taking the index up. Coal India, ONGC, Ultra Tech, Adani Enterprises, Devis Lab. They were dragging the index down. Now suddenly, Coal India is the stock in most fear, followed by Indusind Bank, ICICI Bank, Sri Ram Finance. Interesting to note, Indusind is at 52 week low. The other stocks in the high zone. At the same time, Devis Lab, which corrected today, that is at the highest point. The stock in most greed. Next 50, 31 stocks down, 19 up. Adani Energy, ABB, Bajaj Holding, Berger, Jindal Steel. They were taking the index up. If no clarification comes from the center or resolution reached. with karnataka government then these two top two banks may bleed on friday no trade day today also i prefer to stay out the markets are too choppy and i am not able to understand at all what they are up to and all these retrospective changes which have wiped off significant profit from my portfolio of late including the duty cut in gold that is kind of something that i need to digest and replan also some of the stocks that i bought recently they have totally gone the wrong way after the results navneet education for example corrected despite fantastic results hindustan copper today fell so good readings however the stock prices are not supporting further investment these portfolios are actually in loss now today's nugget learning is about musgaon dock whose results came today very interesting that the profit actually more than doubled this is eureka movement for most investors especially the ones who are holding on to musgaon dock and haven't sold it despite the steep correction in the prices so how did musgaon dock reverse the tide and post such a fantastic profit that's what we will see today the sales were 2173 crore last year 2357 crore this year in june slightly lower than march because most order booking for shipping companies is done in the last quarter this is a known fact around 
200 crore increase in sales now what they did was the expenses of 2000 crore reduced to 1715 crore that's nearly 300 crore dip in expenses how did they do it most of the expenses actually are carry forward which means raw material was bought in previous quarter but consumed in this quarter so there was excessive expense in the previous quarter low expense in this quarter 300 plus 200 500 314 crore profit here 696 or 700 crore here this is a 400 crore profit jump so no magic no increase in sales actually business hasn't grown much just careful handling whether it is willful by design or it just happened i don't know but it is all jugglery of which quarter you are actually booking the expenses in this is evident in the fact that in previous quarter the operating margins dipped from 23 percent to 17 percent this time they have jumped from 17 to 27 excessive cost was booked here which reduced the opm so hope this nugget learning is making sense and it is helping you understand stocks reading their results better let me know in comments if there are any further kind of topics you would want me to cover in the nugget section there are five topics I can cover every week. Tomorrow is a holiday. I will see you on Friday. Thanks for watching.